So a lot of you requested this video, so here it is. This is my settings for the LG 27 GP950 with the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. I feel these are the best settings. First off, on the PlayStation 5, go into the screen and video, and I've got my resolution as well as 4K transfer rate set to automatic. I turn off HDR. I'm not impressed with it on this monitor, so I turn it off. Deep color output, RGB range are set to automatic. Be sure you set the enable 120 hertz to automatic. That is going to ensure you can get 4K 120 hertz in games that support it. You'll see all of that reflected here. Those are the choices, and it also tells you the frequencies that are supported. So with that, let's go into the monitor settings. First thing you'll notice is 60 hertz at the top because the dash and the PlayStation 5 support 60 hertz. You'll also notice that we've got HDR reflected as off. Game mode, we're going to select Gamer Mode 1. As we move into the game adjust, the first thing we'll do is look at FreeSync Premium Pro, set it to Extended. Our black stabilizer set to 60. The response time, I set it to Fast. Crosshair as well as FPS Counter, turn those off. We can then move on to picture adjust. And the first thing is brightness. I set it to 25, contrast at 70, sharpness at 50, gamma mode two, your color temp to custom and leave it as is. RGB, I leave it at the default, which is 50 across the board. And then as you take a look at the sixth color, I leave it at the default, which is 50 across the board as well. Black level set to low, local dimming I turn off, DFC as well is set to off. And then we can move on over to the next couple of menus here. Input, of course, you get your input list. The aspect ratio, I set that to original. Let's go ahead and have a look under general. Wave max audio, I turn that off. Of course, language, set that as you need to. User defined one and two keys, set it as you want. Smart energy saving, I turn it off. And then your lighting option, this is preference, I turn that off for me. Power LED, same thing, off. Automatic standby, turn that off. The buzzer, I turn it off. And the OSD lock, I turn that off as well. So those are the settings for the PlayStation 5. Here's a little spoiler. They're exactly the same for the Xbox, but let's walk through it really quickly. So first off, go into your Xbox Series X settings, go into TV and display. I've got my resolution set to 4K, 120 hertz is the refresh rate. And then there's a couple other things here. Device control, I leave it unchecked for HDMI CEC. You can then move on to your video modes, and this is where I've got allow 50 hertz, 24 hertz checked. Variable refresh rate, definitely check that. Allow YCC 422, I do not check that. And of course, I will check allow 4K, but not HDR, because again, personally, I don't care for the HDR function on this monitor. From there, you can go into the 4K details. It'll reflect all of your selections here. Notice everything is pretty much enabled with the exception of HDR and Dolby Vision, which this monitor does not support. Now we can go and turn our attention to the monitor settings, which again, these are exactly the same as what we've got on the PlayStation 5. Notice the difference here though is 120 hertz readout because the Xbox Series X supports that at the dashboard if you've got it turned on. HDR is reflected as shut off. Otherwise, game mode is gonna be set to Gamer 1. These are all the same. Game Adjust, FreeSync Premium Pro is extended. Black Stabilizer is going to be set to 60. Response Time set to Fast. Crosshair and FPS Counter both off. As we look at our Picture Adjust, our Brightness is going to be set to 25. Contrast of 70. Sharpness of 50. Gamma Mode 2. Color Temp Custom and leave it how it is. RGB at the defaults of 50. Six Color at the defaults of 50. Black level set to low, local dimming off, DFC off. And then as we move to input, you've got your preference for your input list. You can move into your aspect ratio and select that as original. And then as we go into general, wave max audio is turned off. Language, set it as you need to. Same with the user defined keys one and two. Smart energy saving, turn it off to preserve the luminance of the monitor. Lighting option, I turn it off. Power LED off. Automatic standby off. 
Same thing with the buzzer and the OSD lock, both of those off as well. These settings have been go-to for me. Uh, I mean, when I've set it to this, turned off HDR, both my PlayStation 5 as well as my Xbox Series X perform very, very well with this monitor. I love the image that I get both in a dark room as well as a brighter room. And it preserves the screen, the colors, the brightness. It doesn't wash anything out. It doesn't have that heavy IPS glow and it just works. So if you try them out, let me know in the comments down below. If you liked the video, found it helpful, please do me a favor, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe for even more content. Some of you have asked for more gaming footage from this monitor. If that's what you wanna see, let me know. Otherwise, I'll catch you next time. Take care.